Hey everybody, Coach Lance from OnlineHockeyTraining.com. Do you have an interest in learning how I can quicken your shot release time by at least one second when in tight on the goalie? Oh yeah, please proceed. One second doesn't seem like a lot of time, but when taking shots close to the net, as you climb the hockey ladder, the two factors that determine if you're going to score or not are how fast you can get the shot off and can you consistently elevate the puck quickly. The shooting technique that I'm about to show you accomplishes both objectives, so let's begin. Here's footage from a first lesson I recently had with a player, and I'll go through each step of the process I use when introducing this shooting method. I first start by having the player receive a pass in front of the body, and then go top shelf using the forehand. I need to see how she currently shoots in tight. For 99% of the first lessons I have with players, this is exactly what I see. They receive the pass, move it to the forehand, side of the body stopping the puck and then the shot is released like you see here. I love when I see this because I can help by making one small adjustment that will easily shave off at least one second like I promised earlier. What we need to do is to eliminate the puck stopping when moving it from in front of the body over to the forehand side shooting position. Instead of pulling the puck back to the forehand side of the body in line with your feet stopping the puck, you'll now slide it laterally out to the forehand and before the puck stops moving, you'll step forward and pop the puck top shelf. Step one is to work on sliding the puck laterally out to the forehand side of the body consistently to the same spot. Step two is to add the step forward and at the same time, you must push the top hand forward so the forehand blade is now parallel to the net. And finally, step three, popping the puck. The forehand toe of the blade is what should make contact with the puck. As you step forward, drive the toe of the stick blade down quickly, then aggressively bring it straight up, keeping the face open, stopping the follow through just under the crossbar. We proceed to where I spot a puck and she just works on getting the shooting portion down, focusing on following through to the target Target, keeping the face of the blade open parallel to the crossbar. If the shot is going towards the center of the net, it's because you're turning your wrists over, which brings the toe of the blade up. The blade should stay parallel to the crossbar, and that's the secret to consistently getting the shot on target. Now let's go back and look at the first few shots I had her attempt at the beginning of the video. Take a look at the transformation that has taken place in a matter of five minutes. That is amazing. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. And if you like the video, do coach a solid and share it with someone in your hockey circle. I'd appreciate it. Off ice stick handling and shooting training is something most players choose not to do on a regular basis. This is the secret sauce to start separating yourself from the competition. For more drills like you just saw, check out the world's largest database of off ice stick handling and shooting drills at onlinehockeytraining.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.